So we're going to be using Stay Flow Liquid Starch um, as our paste for paper mache. And I've covered a Tupperware container with some saran wrap. And I have pre-torn paper that is just the right size to go over. And I put my liquid starch in a bowl. I also have some yarn here. And I've taken a long piece. And I'm going to match up the two ends here. Like that. And then I'm going to fold it in half a bunch of times. So I'm bringing the two ends together. And then again, until it's kind of about the length that will go over the bowl. Not too long. I'm going to fold it in half so I can find the middle. And just make a loop and tie it in a knot. And you can leave it looped at the ends if you want, or you can cut the loops. I'm going to cut them. And we're going to apply this to the outside after we've done all the paper mache. So I have a bunch of different ones that I put together that will go over the bowl to make it colorful. So I'm just going to take my paper mache paper and put it in the paste, which is the liquid starch. Squeegee it or squeeze it between your two fingers and lay it over the bowl. Press it on and go to the next one. Try not to get two pieces at a time because it'll be dry in the middle and then it won't stick well. So make sure you're just getting one piece at a time. I like to crisscross it. And you're going to do one layer and let it dry. And then if you need to, you can do a second layer and let that one dry. Then we'll apply the, the fiber, which is the yarn. Each time you should smooth it down a little bit. You don't want to have sharp corners on your bowl. Just keep going over it. You can do thinner strips if you want. I'm going to go around on oh, this one so you can see how it's dry in the middle if I got two stuck together. So make sure you just have one. I'm going to go around it this way for extra strength. So I'm kind of going horizontal now overlapping it and then I'm just going to squish it all in and I'll do two more pieces on top so I don't have like an edge here that's sharp or sticking up Diagonal, and I think one more and that will do it and then we'll let it dry and the next video I will show you how to put the fiber on if it's thick enough and I don't have to put a second layer okay so really smooth this last one down because now you're gonna let it dry so you don't want to have any sharp edges I'm turn it around so you can see so like right there I've got a couple of creases Really push them down. All right. So let's let that dry, and I'll see you in the next video.